Good morning. This is Tammy Jameson coming to you from Kennewick, Washington. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here to help you make beautiful cards. Or even add stuff to scrapbooking if you're into um, making scrapbooks. Anyway, I um, hope you guys had a wonderful St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I'm continuing with my going green um, cards. Um, I have seven more left, and today I'm going to show you putting together um, card number five. Um, and then I wanted to show you um, another thing using your um, punches to uh, make labels um, shorter or smaller if you wanted to. Um, anyway, you can get um, orders from me at uh, stampinup.com. Find me as the demonstrator, and if you don't already have one. Or you can email me your order at tmscraps at yahoo.com. And I hope if you got to see my video, you um, got in on the thing yesterday um, that Stampin' Up! had of uh, free shipping for yesterday only. So, we'll get into card number five. And, um, number five I got. Yeah, okay. Mine was a little bit, uh, oh, no, this is a different one. It's kind of like card number three. <laughs> except for it was done with the longer piece. Um, and then I added um, my pretty peacock background on this. They didn't do that. Um, and then you put your greeting down here in the corner when you get this on. So this one's pretty easy to do once you've got everything cut out. Um, my um, back piece measures Two and three quarter are one and three quarters wide by five and a half, um, and then the one on top of it was uh, one and a half by five and a half. So um, anyway, that's the measurements on this one, and as you can see down here, that's what it looks like when um, you go to put it together. And I'm going to use my favorite glue. Now our Stampin' Up! does sell this. Whoops. My cardstock base, um, our card bases are all basic white, regular, um, not the thick. Um, I could have made them with the thick, but I didn't. And I'm going about a half an inch down from the top. Try and make it as straight as I can. And that's all there is to this one. Um, and then you could um, stamp your message right here, um, whether you want it to be a birthday card, a thank you card, a sorry card, um, missing you, thinking of you, or whatever. Um, I also yesterday went ahead and... Oh, I will stamp the inside. Um, I stamped the inside of the cards that I had done. Um, and then I went and stamped on the outside of a couple of cards. And this is what I wanted to show you today. Um, this one turned out really good. I liked how it worked using my ink. But this one here, when I stamped it, I messed up on the hello. And it had a little bit of a halo on there. So I made my own um, label for it. And I raised it up. So that's what I wanted to show you today. What you can do. If your label punch is too small so this is the standard size of the punch that I used and um, this is actually love and laughter forever after and it comes out of the same fern set and um, I wanted it of course if I were to put it in there it's too wide so I wanted to custom make it so um, I made it to fit inside the hole but I stuck it in from top to bottom and then I had that little bit hanging out I cut it off now for the other side I'd stick it in the same way 
um, I'm going to go in and um, kind of see about where it needs to be and trim it off. Now, if I want to add some of the green to the back of this, like I did with this label here, um, all I did was I punched out the label regularly, or as it is on the thing here. Try not to waste any paper here. Just punched it out. And this one was too short, so I cut a little bit out of it. But this one is definitely long enough, so all I have to do is cut this in half, like this. And then um, I can take my Tombow glue and add just a little bit of glue down here. Okay, and then go to the other side. And I noticed that my one I cut out of the white is slightly narrower, narrower than the green. Try to get it straight on there. Okay. So I can go in here with my scissors. Just trim that little bit off. Okay, and there I have that framed and I can use it down here at the bottom. I can move it to the side. Um, just wherever I want to and I can either have it flat on there or I can raise it up and if I'm adding it to a card I like to raise them up so I'll take some dimensionals now I'm just using dimensionals I have on hand um, I do have a few of the Stampin Up ones but I want to get rid of my old stuff so, um, ah, didn't want that many. That's all right. Okay. So I just add this to the front of my card and, um, I'll pull those off later and stick them to my card. Can't seem to get them off. But anyway, I'll stick that to my card right there, and that portion will be done. Um, I also decorated all my card envelopes. Um, so I have all 11 of them ready to go. Um, tomorrow, come and join me, and I'll put together three more cards. And then on Saturday, I'll put together the last three cards. And like I said, most of them I'm leaving blank, um, but I just wanted to show you what they would look like with their um, sentiments on them. Um, but I can use these as, as uh, note cards to send to anybody for any occasion that I want. So um, thank you for joining me, and um, we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.